Joining me now is Meredith Morakovitz, who does a tremendous job covering the Yankees on the Yes Network. Meredith, as always, thank you for being here. We appreciate it. The big news, of course, is Aaron Judge, number 99, getting back in that lineup. And oftentimes, Meredith, you can't quantify what it means when a player is gone, but this time you can because the Yankees were four and six in his absence, and their three and a half runs per game ranked 24th in the bigs. How big is it to get him back? Alana, I imagine when Aaron Boone is filling out that lineup card today, he's just smiling ear to ear as he gets to pencil Aaron Judge's name uh, and number in that lineup. But he's been a leader on this team for years, and the production speaks for itself. It's just a different situation when Aaron Judge is in that lineup, even if he's not hitting just his presence alone in the lineup and you see the play right there where he got hurt he hurt his hip a little bit and I think this was completely precautionary they did not want this to turn into something greater they could deal with losing him for 10 games they didn't want to have to deal with losing him for weeks upon end because that's something that maybe the Yankees could not weather especially considering all the other injuries now Aaron Boone was asked the other day will there be any restrictions on Aaron Judge and he said right now no we believe he's fully healthy no restrictions he'll be back in the lineup and most likely patrolling right field tonight okay Carlos Rodon Yankee fans are dying to see him pitch in pinstripes such a huge offseason acquisition still dealing with the injury issue and Meredith apparently he's going to be getting a cortisone shot hoping to get him back on the mound what more can you tell us you know, he was down here in Tampa the other day and he spoke for the first time since spring training and tried to describe what was going on with his back. He sort of said that when he's on the mound, he just doesn't feel like he can get full extension. It's not that there's a tremendous amount of pain there. He just does not feel right. Something is off. So we went to three separate doctors to get opinions, and they all recommended he get that cortisone shot. I asked him where exactly it is in his back. He said it's more of his middle back than anything else. So he's scheduled for that shot this week. He hasn't been throwing for the past couple of days. He won't throw for a few days after receiving that shot. And then the Yankees are really hoping that that does the trick. But Rodon expressed his frustration. He wants to be out there. He talked about wanting to get on the mound at Yankee Stadium. Obviously, it's taking much longer than the Yankees and Rodon anticipated. Anticipated, but it's kind of a wait and see with Rodon to see if this cortisone shot hits, if it works. And then from there, if you have to consider this, Alana, he's essentially going to have to go through an entire spring training in building himself up innings wise. So when you look at the calendar realistically and wonder when you can see Carlos Rodon, well, you don't want to put an exact date on it just based on knowing that he's going to need to build up. You're probably looking end of June, July at best. Yeah, it could be quite some time before we actually see him make his debut in a Yankees uniform. Certainly would help booster a rotation that certainly is decimated by injury. Okay, before we look forward, I know we want to with the Oakland Athletics, but I have to get your take on what happened uh, in the middle game between the Ray or the last game rather the, between the Rays and the Yankees with Garrett Cole pitching tremendously, and then the Rays with that bounce back win. How does the club handle that? How does this particular club handle it? Look, that was a tough one, but as a club, you almost need to have the closers mentality and that, all right, on to the next one. You can't spend too much time really dwelling on one loss. They understand right now they are not playing their best baseball. They're clawing to get back into it. And you can't sit there and say, hey, we could have won three out of three against the Rays. We could have won two out of three against the Rays. Well, the reality of the situation is you didn't. You need to look at the Oakland A's and figure out how you can take that series. But Garrett Cole has been so fantastic all season long. It happens throughout the course of a season where you're going to have a hiccup like that. Cole, obviously, beyond frustrated after the game in that sixth inning. It just seemed like he ran out of gas. Aaron Boone spoke about how his breaking pitches just weren't as sharp as they were early in the innings. And, Alana, I have to tell you, you could almost feel it as that inning was unfolding. Now, he actually did have a pitcher up in the bullpen, but based on how well Garrett Cole had been pitching throughout the course of the year, he was going to ride with his ace. Unfortunately, it did not work out, but one guy they are not worried about right now is Garrett Cole. No, oh, he's been every bit the ace that he hoped that they hoped he would be, certainly. Meredith, we appreciate your time as always. Enjoy your day. Will do. You too, Alana.